بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سی ایس پرو یوزرس ان دس ٹیٹوریل وی ول لرن دا یوز آف رپورٹ فائلز یوزرس اینڈ روز ان دا سی ایس ویب سرور دس از واٹ وی کال دا سی ایس ویب ڈیش بورڈ فرسٹ وی ول اسٹارٹ فرام دا رولس ٹیپ کلک آن دا رولس اور ہیئر وی کین سی وی ہیو ٹو رول نیمس ون از ایڈمنسٹریٹر دا ادر ون از اسٹینڈرڈ یوزر the administrator role can access all these options and upload and download all dictionaries a standard user cannot access all these options but upload and download the dictionaries all roles are able to download application using cs entry let's make a new role for view reports click on add role button give role name view reports you can give any name check only report option and press add to continue now role is set for view reports we will now create a new user who will only have access to view reports press user tab and then press add user button give office staff as username you can give any name you can repeat office staff in first name and last name if you want these two are optional so leave them blank select view report from the drop down give new password for this user you will enter this password twice press add to continue let's do a test now log out from the cs web dashboard and log in again with the new username office staff enter password and press login button this user can only see the reports because we choose only one option for this user we do another test and see if the user can deploy the application or not press deploy button give username office staff and password and press okay to continue the message is access denied now we are going to give permission for the application deployment login in cs web as admin and press roles tab in the roles table click the pencil icon for the view report role add application and data option and press update to continue now again deploy the application at this time application deployed successfully we do another test and see if the user can download data from the server or not select tools and then click on data viewer select file and press download option click on connect button if the connection details are correct the tool will display a list of data store on the server from the drop down select which data set you are interested in downloading give your destination where you want to save data and press download button the access denied message will be pop up now we are going to give permission for the data downloading login in the cs web as admin and press role tab again in the rules table click the pencil icon for the view report role now select the download option again census data and press update to continue again connect the server and then download the data this time the data is downloaded without any errors i hope you understand the use of roles and users Our next topic is about files.
we can transfer files between a device and a synchronization server. Files may be any type. Application files, images, text files. Example, we want to get pictures from the field staff. First, we are going to create folder for pictures in the files tab. Click on the files tab and then click on the create folder. Give your folder name, pictures. You can give any name. Open your menu application. Write syntax in the send data on the server function. We will use synchronize file function. We are using three arguments with synchronize file function. One is direction. Second is from path and the third one is to path the direction argument determines which of these operation is performed it must be one of the following values get or put get download files from the server and save them on the client put upload files from the client to the server and we are using Port. The from path argument is a string expression that specifies the path of the file to transfer. The to path argument is also a string expression that specifies the destination path for the files. If to path is not specified, then the files will be saved in the server root directory. Let's run the application and see the result. Run your login application and give the login information and press next to continue. Select the option send household data on the server from the menu option and click on the check icon. The pictures has been sent on the server. Let's review the files tab in the CS web server. In the picture folders, two files are loaded on the server. Now remove the two path and then send the data on the server. The pictures has been sent to the server. Now the two path was not exist, then the files are in root directory. I hope you understand the use of files. Our next topic is synchronization report. Before we start working on synchronized report, please see previous video on deploy an application and synchronize the data on the CS web server. Click on dictionary from the sidebar under synchronized report. Click on the drop down to view the dictionary ID items above the report. Select the dictionary ID to view the report in the selected geographical information. For example, if you want to see the report by EA, then select EA dictionary item from the drop down. The column filters allow further filtering on values that are currently displayed. It is very difficult to remember the value label, so we will import the value labels in the CSV format. I have already done the value labels in the CSV format. Let's take a brief look at this file. You have to create the CSV file in the same order as the dictionary contains the ID items. We cannot change the order. We only have province and locality label. So we will only label the province and locality ID items. The labels are arranged in such a way that the value of the ID item will be entered first and then its label. Province code, province name, district code and district name and so on. Save the file in the CSV format and after that import into CS web. Click on a data tab from the sidebar and then click on the 
import report labels click on browse to access your csv file check the option csv file has a header row and then press import now click on a dictionary from the sidebar under synchronize report select your dictionary item from the drop down click on the column filter under province and you are and you can see the value labels are fixed i hope you understand how to use the synchronized report see the cs pro helps for more information how to use the synchronized report files users and roles keep on learning and goodbye